Hi there, we're gonna look at guides and rulers and I'm gonna show you how to, we're gonna split this vertical into three separate parts using guides. I'll also show you how to uh, set templates. Okay, so you might have, you might create a guide template with safe areas, allowing you to get consistent across lots of different jobs, everything lining up in the right spot. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so there's two ways of making guides. You can go click on your program monitor and go to view and go to add guide. You've got to go to show guides first, okay? And nothing happens, but you can go to view and you can add guides now. Okay, you can just type them in. You might decide you want one, let's say you've got some corporate guidelines and you need, you know, the, the logo needs to be exactly, you know, 50 pixels from the bottom, okay? Whether it's gonna be horizontal or vertical, okay? So that's your kind of like safe zone for whatever social media. And you can see it kind of snaps to that guide. It'll only do that if you're under view and snap on as well. So you need both of these things on for the guides to actually appear and be kind of like snappable. Um, so adding guides that way is one way. You can turn on your rulers and drag them out from there. So let's go to view, let's go to show rulers. Okay, so the rulers allow you to just physically click anywhere in here and just drag them out. Okay, you might decide that you've got some safe zones from the edges here. Can you see where my cursor is? Okay, there's the numbers, so those are the pixels. Okay, it's say it's 50 in from the side as well. <laughs> I can't get it in there. Okay, so if you have to be perfect like that, it's probably better to go to view and add guide. If you do wanna drag it and get a little bit more precise, you have to be zoomed in a lot more. Okay, or in my case, I've just got my, uh, you know, this is just a kind of a weird format that I had. Now that I can see more, can you see I can get down to some nitty gritty? I can almost get to 50, 50-ish. <laughs> 50 That'll do. If any of this is grayed out, it's because you don't have your program monitor selected. So just click anywhere in here to make it active. You could drag ones from the top, the bottom. And once you do have it, say you've got a style that you're hitting for, you know, a lot of repetitive work. It might be how-to videos, social media videos, and you've got your guides all set up, you can save them. So you can go to view and you can go to Guide templates, save guides as template. Okay, and you can call this one for your, I don't know, social branding. Vertical. Now if I either adjust them or clear them, you can clear your guides by going to view and go to clear guides. Okay, I can now go back and have my guide templates, branding, social, there it is, and they'll come back. Let's do another use case. There's a kind of a, a nice thing I like to do with guides. So let's clear our current guides. I'm gonna create uh, a duplicate of this. So I'm gonna go to this one, Command C, Command V, or Control V, Control C on, Control C, Control V on a PC. Okay, and this one's going to be vertical and this one's gonna be my multi. Uh, I'm gonna have lots of different videos going. So I'm gonna open that one up, close down this just to be tidy. Okay, so what I want to do is I want guides to split this into threes. So what I can do is I'm going to view, and if it's grayed out, click on your program monitor, pretend like I was doing that on purpose. Let's go to new guide. And a handy thing in lots of Adobe programs is, where it says position of this one. Okay, I want to start from the top. I want to be, I want to break this into thirds. Okay, so I know that the height is 920. Okay, but I can be divided by, which is just my forward slash, okay, on your keyboard, and then three. And if I just click out, can you see it actually does the math for me, which I am incapable of doing in my head. Okay, so it means I've got a guide there. Nice. I can add another guide. I can say this one is the same. It was 640. Or, yeah, it was 640, but from the bottom. Okay. All right, now I've got a kind of a, I've broken it into thirds. That's exactly what I've done. Because now what I want to do is grab this one. I'm going to shrink it down, scale. Why don't I drag it on the screen, on the program monitor? Because there's everything in the top in the way and it's painful. Let's kind of fix it by locking it. Okay, now I can kind of do it. I can say, actually, what, did I lock the right one? I did. So now I can double click it. And actually, I don't want to move it because there is keyframes, Dan. Don't be moving it when there's keyframes. Okay, you can see I had keyframes going, so it's kind of, I started moving it halfway through, so now I'm going to have some pretty crazy looking animations. So I'm going to do is clear it, reset it. No, I'm going to turn the stopwatch off to get rid of them all. Reset it, so it's back in the middle, and now I can double click it and say, actually, you're this top part. And because I've got my snap on, view, 
snap and because I've got my show guides, I'm kind of getting into the right zone. Uh, let's add a couple more. Okay, so fitness three is gonna go on. Where's fitness two? Man, reset by, not frame rate, by names. Uh, let's drag this one on. I am going to overlay. Okay, I'll probably get it. Actually, I've locked that layer there. I'm probably gonna put this right at the top of my six layers. Okay, and I'm gonna put this one here. Lock it again. This one here, I'm going to resize. Get snap in there. Is my math right? <laughs> Did I read that right? You're probably like, he didn't do that right. Uh, 640 times three, come on, times, why isn't that not working? Times three, you yeah, know, I got it right. All right, all right, let's dump in the last one. You go in the same, you get the idea, right? What I'm trying to do and uh, make sure, where is it? You're on top, yep. Let me get that down to 60% as well and get it into the right spot using my sweet snapping and my sweet guides. I'm gonna to go to view and I'm going to click in here and then I'm gonna to go to view and I'm gonna to go to show guides. I'm gonna turn that off. Oh, look how good that is. There's some rate stretching is gonna to need to be done to make sure they all match out the same time zone, but that's okay. Let's do it super quick. R key, rate stretch, boom, boom. Can you do both of these at the same time? Probably not. You totally can. There you go. Dan lose something today. <laughs> all right. That is guides. Let's turn off our rulers and get on to the next videos. Click on there first, <laughs> then show rulers. Ah, professionals. All right, next video.